So for anyone who's got a John Deere 6x4 Gator with a secondary or driven clutch they want to disassemble, I couldn't find any other way to do it. Uh, there's a couple clues on YouTube that shows how to get snap rings out, <clears throat> but this one has a 4 millimeter set screw in there that was in pretty darn tight. I tried using just the old school method and that snapped off my Harbor Freight 4 millimeter uh, bit. So that's the screw right there. It's pretty long, as you can tell, and they've got it in there with some serious Loctite. And the way you're gonna get that out is heat. <clears throat> so I started with my wife's creme brulee device, just thinking a little bit of heat would do it. That did not work. So then I tried map gas, and at first that didn't work, but then I thought, well, the actual instructions say you need five minutes of heat at 450 on the Loctite thing. So I put it on for five minutes with map gas and I mean it was smoking and you heard some cracking but eventually out that came. So with that out you then I was expecting this to come popping up well no that doesn't occur so you need a five gear or five ton gear puller or something I couldn't figure out how to get it in a shot press so this would work and <clears throat> I haven't finished the taking it off but eventually popped after some serious effort One large spring. You can see what the heat is done. You can see how that's threaded all the way down. And it's actually threaded on that side too. Now this one obviously is trash. These buttons are shot. I'm not even sure if this is salvageable, which is why I didn't really care if I overheated it, but uh, do make a note. There are different numbers for different clutches for a different spring. Uh, I marked mine. This was a three. And obviously on the other end, there's only one hole here that you can put it on. Uh, they have other holes that could be drilled out, but on the top it could be only one. But on the bottom you could put it on one, two, or three. So I made a notation and then marked the spring as well, so it's time for the assembly. You've at least got some sense of where it's gonna go. <clears throat> Reassembly? No, that's another video. You gotta make sure you get this guy lined up just right and get the through scroll through stuff on when you press fit it back on. But that's for another day. At least now you've gotten it apart.